Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be working through problem 1.3 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. And it says, find the angle between the body diagonals of a cube. So how can we go about solving this problem? Well, without any loss of generality, we can use the unit cube. And that means all the side lengths of the cube are one and one of the vertices is located at the origin. So I've drawn that here on the x, y, z coordinate system. And I've also drawn in red two body diagonals, one of which um, is going from the origin at 0, 0, 0 to the point 1, 1, 1. And the other is going from the point 0, 0, 1 to the point 1, 1, 0. So we've labelled one of the body diagonal vectors that travels from the origin to the point 1, 1, 1, A. And if we want to write A as a vector, we would write it in using Cartesian basis unit vectors as x hat plus y hat plus z hat. Now let's label the other vector b. Remembering that b points from the point. 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 0. And we can define B using the same unit vectors as x hat plus y hat minus z hat. Okay, so now we can do some vector calculus, which will help us calculate the angle between these two body diagonals. So we'll work out the dot product of A and B. And it'll be clear why we do this in a second. So I'll just write them in column vector form, where A is 1, 1, 1, and B is 1, 1, minus 1. Okay, and this works out to be 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, equals 1. So we've just found this, that the dot product of A and B equals 1. And now, what do we know that the dot product is also equal to? in terms of A and B. So if you remember from a previous video, the dot product of A and B is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between the vectors A and B. And it's this angle that we're interested in. So what we have to do now to find this angle is to find the magnitudes of the vectors a and b. So we can find these magnitudes quite straightforwardly if we just remember how to work out distances, which is all these magnitudes really are from one corner to the other in the 3D Cartesian coordinate system. So the magnitude of vector a is just the square root of the differences in each coordinate squared. So we have the square root of 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared. And that's because all the coordinates here are 0, 0, 0, 0. 
and all the coordinates here are 1, 1, 1, 1. So, this is just equal to the square root of 3. Now we can work out the magnitude of vector b. In a very similar way, taking the differences in the x, y, and z coordinates. So for the vector b, we have 0 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus 1 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared. And this is also equal to the square root of 3. Okay, so now we can start filling in the gaps here in this equation. So we have 1, so we know the dot product of a and b is 1, equals the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 times cos theta. And now we can rearrange for cos theta being equal to 1 over 3. And then plugging into your calculator that theta is equal to the inverse cosine of 1 over 3. We should find that in degrees. This is approximately equal to 70.53 degrees. Okay. So now we found this angle here, which is the angle between the two body diagonals of a cube.